Hey there guys, Pragmatic here, and it's time for the final mystery game. Let's see what we got. That was the worst roar ever. We got... Oh wow. Is this what I think it is? I think it is. It appears to be an awful ripoff of Sonic the Hedgehog, where you apparently can't hurt most of the enemies. Oh wait, that guy has spikes. And instead of being a hedgehog, you're a dinosaur. And apparently the sides of spikes are deadly. This may be the greatest thing ever. Look at it glitch out. Look at how close to the edge of the screen I can be before it moves forward. Look at how no matter how many coins I had, if I get hit, only two come out of me. Making it impossible to keep any sort of huge amount of them around. Oh wow. That was awesome. Everything about this is great. I I'm curious as to how someone finds this. Maybe there's some sort of black market on the internet for ROMs of games that uh, are totally not at all legit. He's gonna fall eventually? Can I jump through this? Oh, there we go. I wonder if I can even finish a level this. It seems... Yeah, painfully difficult due to a number of factors. The main one being the collision detection is awful. And on top of that, having to run literally right to the edge of the screen to be able to advance. I kind of wish I could spin dash, but then this would actually be Sonic and not Jurassic Boy 2. Was there even a Jurassic Boy 1? This is something I should research. Because if there was, I bet it was also awful. Did I just go through that loop twice? Huh. Get out of here, okay, man. Don't got time for you, I'm busy running. Running as fast as I can without being able to see where I'm going. Jumping aimlessly. That's the way- ah. Ah. That's the way we roll. Ah. This part of the level looks very familiar. There you go. I know, the spikes. I know, the spikes. Again. Where did that put me? All the way back at the beginning? It did. Oh god. It's a game where there's no checkpoints. And... Wow. It's a game where I also apparently can't get past the first enemy. Except for that one time. Come on. Jump over me. There we go. Let's try this once more. How many lives do I have left? I haven't been paying attention. Hopefully this is my last one. I kind of feel a need to play something not a Hong Kong ripoff of Sonic the Hedgehog after this to cleanse myself. Ugh, dear god, this is embarrassing. How am I so bad at video games? Anyways, to uh, diverge from this atrocity for a moment, I have been uh, messing around with Onslaught a bit more, and I've figured out how to play it more competently. I'm not 100% certain I'm actually kind of come back to it, though, because it's very samey, as someone in the uh, comments to the video mentioned. All the levels appear to be mostly the same, aside from uh, the difficulty therein of the enemies. And there appears to be a lot of levels. 
At the very least, I am going to try and see if I can at least make a record of the ending, which I can almost guarantee you is not going to be worth the amount of time it takes to to uh, get to it. If I'm feeling clever, maybe I'll make a montage or something. Probably not, though, so don't get too excited about that idea. I do want to see how that ends up, aside from, most likely, very disappointingly. So, someday, I promise you, I will bring you the end of that game. By hook or by crook. I don't even know what that means. I don't have a hook or a crook. I kind of refuse to deal with them since that whole cheese debacle in, Final in uh, King's Quest Seven. Okay, we're almost back to where I was. Let's see if we can do this this time. I should really probably be using my gamepad for slightly more, uh... accurate controls. Or I can just kill myself. Okay, let's go one more time. Let's go one more try here. I'd love to see the end of the first stage, but I might have to admit that this game is just going to beat me down with its aggressive badness. I'd also kind of like to see someone play this a little more competently. Because it's quite literally Sonic the Hedgehog if you just took that game and made it worse in basically every possible way. And also made it about a dinosaur instead of a hedgehog. Kind of. I'm still not sure why you can't hurt the spike crabs even from underneath. They don't have spikes down there. Oh well, whatever. I just realized, the amount, with the speed at which I can get through this after getting past the first enemy, they, I'm apparently not making it that far into a level. It also doesn't appear to be a time limit. I also don't see the purpose of this string of, like, 15 loops. Okay, let's fall. Let's jump over this. Okay, I finally figured out what's bugging me so much about this. He's got the momentum of, like, Sonic 4 Sonic, and that doesn't feel right still, even on the NES. He just, like, comes to a dead stop when you let go of the button. And it just feels very odd. Not to mention incredibly wonky hitboxes, and get out of here. Let me run. Did I just get a 1-up? Because I really hope I didn't. I would love for this game to end. I'm not going to quit until I get a game over, unless I get running really long in this. Because I've already spent probably more time than anyone in the world has on this game, to start with the people who developed it. That is totally not cool. Drop you right on that, uh, scorpion. I'm not even sure this is the right way to go, but I'm going this way, damn it. I've already killed this guy twice, dying to go this way. There better be something over here. Ah! That wasn't cool at all! <laughs> Neither was that. Smooth move, me. So stop dodging your coin rings. I can't tell if I'm making any progress, because every part of this level is exactly like every other part of this level. How much longer can it go on? Oh. It can go on that long, I guess. Man, they even stole the... Did I just go right from 1-1 one, one to 2-1? Was there not a 1-2 or anything else? Then again, this is a rip-off cartridge, so maybe the people who made it just had no idea how level numbering works. Uh. Oh. I thought that was like a... ramp-up wall or something, but no, apparently it's just bad background textures. So what weird rip-off game wouldn't be complete without awful background textures? Okay, what's up here? Oh, a springy mushroom. I was not expecting that. Clearly I should have been, because that's just the easiest way to prehistoricize the springs from Sonic the Hedgehog, but, uh... Whatever. 
I'm really depressed that you can't spin dash on this. Goddamn those spiky invincible bastards. Alright, time for some more useless looping action. There's probably like six of these in a row. I don't know why they did this. I also like that you don't grab most of the rings most of the time. Oh, my, my mistake. Coins. How dare I call them rings. That's insulting to Sonic the Hedgehog, who... Even his own games aren't a salt to him nowadays, but... That's neither here nor there. Alright, jumping is not the solution. Just run blindly at the wall, and it will take you to where you need to go. Which is apparently to another one of these bastard... Invincible guys. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Did that tree just throw a rock at me? Screw you, tree. Oh, that's not even the right way to go. What level is this most like? Was there a level where you were... Uh, no. I don't want to know. Ah! What the hell is this? <laughs> Who designs things like that, aside from sadists? Oh. Oh my god, there's no way over these spikes. There we go. Why do I continue? Why don't I just stop? Everything about this is damaging to my psyche, but I continue. Okay, this level has to almost be over at this point, right? It can't just continue like this endlessly, can it? I know it damn well can, but it better not. I think I'm finally getting the hang of this, uh... mechanics-wise. Don't try and kill things unless you have to. Oh, hey, I made it. Okay, there wasn't a 1-2, but there's a 2-2, two -two, really? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't even know that I want to understand. Oh well. I can't get... <sighs> Damn you, tree. It can't get much worse, I guess, so... I don't think that's how gravity works, the way I just fell. Oh, the sound effects are awful. Why do I keep grabbing these things? All I need is one. Oh, that was awesome. By awesome, I mean terrible. Go, go, go! Go, Jurassic Boy, go! No, Jurassic Boys, don't stop. If you stop, you'll probably die. I guess. It's like Dino Run, if Dino Run was awful. And also a bad ripoff of Sonic the Hedgehog. So I guess not at all like Dino Run, I just lied. Right to your faces. And there's nothing you can do about it, because it already happened. Oh god. Oh no, I... I am so screwed. I don't know who thought that... I don't know who told these guys that their controls were good enough to pull off that kind of maneuver, because, uh... Who oh boy, they're not. Okay, I'm pretty confident there was nowhere to go there, and... How did I get five lives again? Yeah, you know what, I, I'm not playing for another four lives. Uh, I'm gonna call this one good, because I kinda hate myself now. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time when I return to more normal sorts of uh, proceedings here. But before that, there should be an enemy over here, right? Actually, what's down here? Let's check the side path real quick.
Man, even when I'm trying, I can't kill myself. Okay, here we go. I feel better now. Anyways, later.